Did I film that monument? I think I did. Fuck off. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Also, Aaron, man. <laughs> this year has been nothing short of. It is crazy. Jason. What? No swearing. Oh my god, this is like us, man. Over five years ago, <laughs> half of all life in the universe, including kind of our own Midtown High, was wiped from existence. So we're getting this now. Of course we get this now, man. Nick Fury's calling you. Well, I mean, if it was really that important, he'd probably call someone else, not me. Dude, he probably would call me first, and then he'd Shut call. the fuck Bo. What? Bo. It's the most perfect word in the world. The Italians created it, and I just discovered it. Just Bo. See what I did there? Just no. Sure. But instead I replaced it with Bo. Sure. <laughs> That's gonna fucking hurt like the back. Oh! Witnesses say that Cyclone had a face. A village was. Just making the rounds. This guy's peripheral vision is criminal. Is How can he not see, man? I swear. His peripheral vision is gone. It's not even there. It's non existent. He just looked in the direction of me. I can't be bothered. He was, he was looking down, but like, uh, still. Stark left these for you. How many months has it been again? Uh, it was eight months. So after eight months, he finally gets the glasses. Come on. I can't see the film anymore, man. I think you just inhaled it. <laughs> also, I just realized the fact that we didn't know it was eight months is a bit strange. That it's, it, I feel like that kind of that's kind of a bad thing. Like, because there was no passage of time, really. It's like, oh, in memory, yeah, these guys. It kind of gives off the vibe that it not so long ago just happened, like exactly a few weeks ago, especially when it starts off with the memoriam. And then they start talking about how people just came back, yeah, like they died yesterday. Like, stop that. I mean, I'm just a friendly neighborhood Spider Man, sir. Bitch, please, you've been to space. To be fair, I've also been to space, but he didn't shut the shut well, 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 mm, well, shut well, the front door. door. Shut, shut the front door, man. Shut the front door. <laughs> you dirty. My, my front door's already closed, though. I'm a oh, I'm a oh, be your bum, man. I'm a be your bum. You can beat my bum. Whoa, whoa, hold on. See you, kid. Yeah, see ya. Fun fact. Actually, no, I won't say the fun fact yet yeah, until we get into like their bromance. Actually, why are we here? You got any fun facts or like Mysterio in general? Like, what's part of the film? He was originally meant to be the villain for Spider-Man Four, I believe. Oh, mad. We're going to Prague. Oh, no. What? Tour company called, they upgraded us. I got to say it. Now I'm pissed. I forgot to say it. Not Because now you're not going to believe me. But I actually funded their upgrade. Oh, shut your mouth. I shut your mouth. Also, Spider-Man is terrible at keeping his secret in these films. Because Nick Fury was like, oh, everyone, everyone here has seen you with your mask off. He's not very good at keeping his identity secret, is he? <laughs> Why did he not try these on as soon as he got them? You know, this one meant all to him. You know, Stark was very... Man could have put rare. them on as soon as he got back to his hotel, or as soon as he got them. Because I know for a fact, if I gave you some new glasses, I know you wouldn't be like, hey, oh, thanks, man. And then just put put them in your pocket. You'd put them on, even for, even if it was like a second, you, you would put them on for a second, and you'd be like, yeah, okay. And then you'd put them back in. Mm. Would you or would you not? I probably would, bro. Actually, no, I definitely would. That's a nitpick, but I feel like I had to say it. The fact that he's putting him on now, whilst there's everyone around, it's like. Uh... The next Tony Stark, I trust you. Like you're telling me he didn't even see that note? Like, come on. Uh, yeah, no. The more I think about it, like if it was sentimental to him, even then, I, I, I'm quite sure he'd put, he'd still put them on damn near immediately. Exactly. It would kind of be. It still wouldn't, but it would kind of be understandable if Tony Stark wasn't dead but tony stark is dead it's like he left you with something you're gonna exactly put you're going to put that on straight away it's like i can't it's like a nitpick but at the same time it's a big nitpick what's his name uh, night, night monkey night monkey oh i mean it's a black suit as well come on ned beck what are you doing what i should have done last time beck! Oh, I'm gonna say this now. Spider Man and Mysterio were meant to butt heads a lot more in this film. Were they? Yeah. What uh, do you mean by then, that? Like, they, they'd kind of like have not opposing opinions, but they'd go like against each other a little bit more. I'm kind of happy that they changed it, but I feel like some of the, like, they should still butt heads a little bit more. Yeah. But you didn't want to be here. Mr. Fury, I'd love to have you in Berlin too. But you've got to decide whether you're going to step up or not. <sighs> 
Uh, I don't. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, man. I feel like we are meant to get this, but Nick is Nick Fury is being a fucking idiot right now. <laughs> Nick is being a fucking idiot right now. He's like, oh, was was he wrong in making a fifteen year old an Avenger that wanted to be a friendly neighborhood Spider Man? Yeah, that, 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 that's a big thing that is like a problem with this. I'm not really getting like a big vibe of Peter Parker has done something wrong as well. E exactly. Which is not it's making like, me feel it when he's saying this. It's just making me feel like, like, shut your mouth. If he did something wrong, or if, if he did hold back, this would be such a much more impactful scene. Maybe he got Quentin Beck hurt because he, like, held back on something. Yeah. Like, that that would have been so much better to have this scene after, but that just didn't happen. You try one. He does look good with them, to be fair. Edith? Hello, Peter. Hi. Yeah, um, I'd like to transfer your control over to... Back. Peter, what are you doing? It you should not be this easy to that. transfer thingy. Here's how it sh I don't I don't want to say it without spoiling it yet. Oh, I also feel like Tony now this is a very big nitpick. I also feel like Tony would probably leave a message in there as well. Yeah. Like that's a nitpick, but I feel like that's such a Tony Stark thing to do. Like leave a message in there as soon as he puts on the glasses, like a video just pops up. I feel like that's a big Tony Stark thing to do. Yeah, it, it, it'd be cocky in the video, of course, because that's, that's then, Tony Stark. Yeah. And then you <laughs> you would talk to me, uh, give him a little, I don't know, like a little pep, a pep talk, talk or something. Yeah. Just something like that. Like That is a nitpick, but it's such a Tony Stark thing to and, do. And like telling him what he wants him to do with it. Exactly. Especially since you definitely get the feeling that Tony Stark considers Peter to be like a, almost like a son. Yeah. Welcome to the Avengers. Shut up! I cannot believe it is this easy to transfer ownership. I just cannot believe that. <laughs> I cannot suspect. I can suspend my belief on superheroes and all this like weird shit magic, but with this, I cannot suspend my disbelief. Tony Stark is a very big businessman, very smart man. There is no way he so, would just make it this easy to transfer ownership. So after you saying that, right? What was it about the last time we watched this off camera that didn't make you bring these points up? But now you are. Was there actually like a bias there? Like, be honest with me, man, at this point. I thought no, back then, I didn't really. It, I wanted to critique films of you, but I didn't have like an obligation to bring up things like this. Now I have an obligation because this is for, this is for YouTube. Voice. I guess, man, but when you destroyed the other films, man, <laughs> you wanted to destroy them pretty no, badly was, there, no, but then all of a sudden... I will I will admit that was literally just to prove a point. Yeah, but there was also other films we watched before Far From Home as well, wasn't there? Oh, uh, yeah. True. Exactly. You're forgetting about all them other films where you went in on them, but then for some reason, a film where, bearing in mind, afterwards, you already gave me that impression that you already had a biased mindset towards Tom Holland because you said he used the best Spider-Man. It was it was a bit hey. weird how you started... Hey, look, hey, look, my, my critical mindset was down, and also I did have a bit of... Okay, <laughs> I, okay. I did have a bit of a, bit of a bias because I, I heard that these films were, like, pretty good. Now, looking <laughs> back at it, I still prefer Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. It's also a clean reveal as well. I was very confused in the cinema when watching this. Yeah, this is a good See, reveal. that wasn't so hard. <laughs> To the man who brought us all together, Tony Stark. Tony Stark? He fired me. Said I was unstable. Also, this introduction is like all like the other characters. Very clean. I like it. Yeah. Janice. Yeah! After Tony died, she was the one who discovered that Edith was being handed over not to us, but to a child. Damn, how did she figure that out before even Peter knew about the glasses? <laughs> Mental. With our technology and with Edith, Mysterio will be the greatest hero on Earth. I actually dead ass forgot that that is his child? character motivation. <gasps> okay, so... First off, why does Edith not recognize that Quentin Beck is an ex-employee of Tony Stark and he was fired for being unstable? Yeah. How, how does Edith not recognize that? I'm like, bro, no. For me, what would have been realistic there is... Hey, Edith, I'm uh, gonna pass control over to Quentin Beck. Quentin Beck. Blah, 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 blah. Former employee of Tony Stark. Wait, what? 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 Who? Oh, shit. Never mind. You ain't getting these glasses. See ya. Boom, that's realistic. That would, have been, that, that would have been so much clearer. That's realistic. That would, have been a, that would have been a really clean... I think that would have been a better reveal. Even though the one that we have in this film is very surprising, I feel like that would have been just as surprising and much more antagonistic. And uh, secondly, uh, why is he a Tony Stark villain? Ah... Uh... <laughs> 
we have. Do we always? We have to mention this, yeah. And before, when we watched this, I said this to you, and you disagreed with. What was it uh, that uh, was uh, making uh, you disagree? I did disagree, and then later on, I was like, okay, yeah, you right. This guy really is a Tony Stark villain, <laughs> even with like at the time the biased mindset. See, for me, I, even then, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the thing for me was when you was trying to make it a bit more redeemable. When I was saying that, what kind of triggered me the most there is you're the comic book nerd here. You know that Mysterio is supposed to be a Spider-Man villain. Am I correct I, there? I, I, I think my point was, hey, yo, in the comics, he's a Spider-Man villain. That was my that was my fucking argument at the time. So in the comics, is Mysterio mainly a Spider-Man villain? Is he ever really anything else? He's never really anything but a Spider-Man villain. I don't think he ever really clashes with anyone but Spider-Man. I can't be bothered. So much for Paris, right? Would have been fun. Night. Night. Uh... What do you think about the MJ in this? M MJ in the MCU. I feel like they've definitely improved her in this film. In the last film, she was like a bit meh. She was very meh in the last film. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> She'd only be relatable to like a very small niche of people. Which I guess but... I kind of get, to be fair, because it's like we didn't really need to see that much of her. <laughs> but at the same time, what we did see of her, it was kind of just like treating out. Yeah, it, it, I, I just got a really big vibe but I'm not like the other girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Spider-Man. Well, do the Night Monkey and Spider-Man use the same webs? Were you only watching me because you thought I was Spider-Man? That's clean, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, oh, no. Why else would I be watching you? That's nice, actually. That's a clean reveal, to be fair. Pause. Pause. Can you just fast forward to the <laughs> end? Okay, that's a good way to establish nice. things, how Stop. he's doing it. Nobody wants a bullet in their head, right? No, that's kind of cool, but uh thought this bald head guy could uh, control them too. I clearly he can't anymore, man. So, 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 so uh, yeah, he has Edith. Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. At the start of the scene, he told this bald head you to pause uh, them. Yeah, so but it looks like he could have just paused them, them himself, man. That was zero. Like, come oh, on, yeah. man's in the MCU. I told you so. Look at the TV, man. Look at the TV. Oh my fucking! Come on, Shut come on, man. I thought we were close. You were just a kid. Dude, yeah, this does remind me of um, sequences in like the games and shit. Hey, the CGI oh, in like... this film, clean as oh, hell. Oh, fucking spectacular. See, this is a good way to do what Doctor Strange did, but in a much more understandable way and not weird. Visual noise. Yeah. Everything here means something. Yeah. But things like this, him being able to interact with things that aren't really there, like these webs right here. These webs aren't really there. And if it's an illusion, he should be going through them. I'm sorry, but I just can't stress that enough. I get it for the average viewer, they don't care. Critically, this is just, uh. See, for example, there was definitely no webs there that he was hitting. But somehow he was hitting them from falling through the outside the building here. It, it doesn't make sense. Like, is it an illusion or is he creating webs? Like, what's going on? It's an, I think it's it, it's an illusion, but I think he might have, like, used the drones there, some shit to, like, make... No, no, the no, no, no. I don't... You're I redeeming don't, it. He, stop he stop trying similar, to redeem he does, it. He does similar shit in the comics, I, but, like, the fact they haven't explained it here is disgusting. <laughs> See, it's like, what is you this? Is are these just, just drones tapping him? Like See, now stuff like that, that's clean. Because it makes it feel more real. When he's, when he's just interacting with things that aren't really there, I just refuse, man. I refuse. I feel like what would have fixed it here is if there was a lot of him going through things. Like they were illusions. I'm not really. Well, I am getting the feeling that this is a big illusion. Don't get me wrong. But there's a lot of times where it just seems like he's actually just generating things and not making it an illusion. They could just like have a little mini explanation in the fucking scene that we got. I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. We should have definitely got a lot more establishment of this tech. I feel like with the thing where it's like, oh, it make him fall through things that can like break the action a little bit. If the average viewer, they most likely no. aren't gonna want that. No, no. Well, well, even, look, 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 even, look, 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 no, 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 no,
So if they have the it, same it, writers, it, it, it's wait, still, what, what, it's what's still going right. on? What's going on? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? When we critique films, we don't always reply to each other saying, "Hey, man, the writers couldn't do that. The writers aren't clearly aren't that good." Like, what are we doing here? Like, there's no point me critiquing the film anymore. Then, if you're just gonna go, "Hey, look, the director ain't that good. Hey, look, the writers ain't that good." <laughs> like, what are you? What are you doing? What I was just about to say is, you said they probably can't make it that engaging, and that'll break that no, bit too much. Could. But for example, the web things, you could have just literally gone through them and that would solve that straight away and it would make me feel like it's a lot more real boom okay there's a there's, there's a when he got surrounded by all them other spider-mans he punches one he actually hits something he punches another his hand goes through it then all the drones hit him and then that's what that's how he gets down on the ground and then boom are you telling me that that wouldn't be engaging are you telling me that that would be trash and now you have he just dropped a ball with Spider-Man in it. So how does that work? He dropped a ball and Spider-Man was in it. You see, I feel like they could easily fix all of what you're complaining about if they just literally had a short explanation of how he does that shit. But you see, my thing is, I made it seem like the going through thing, like I wanted him to do that for a lot. But I, I just wanted, like, one little bit where it's like, we can clearly see that that's, like, an illusion. So, like, the parts I say you could just go through the webs, that would have been enough for me to be like, okay, fair. But it's the fact he's hitting the webs that aren't really there, and we know that for sure, because he was outside of the building. It's just like, ugh. I'm just trying to imagine how it would look. Like, are we saying, like, just, like, he goes through them in, like, some green mist or some shit, like, just kind of poofs off them? Yeah, just something like that. You know what? I was. You know what? You're right. You're actually so right. I was for some reason thinking of it like it was some dirty video game glitch where like you clip through something. Oh, what the fuck is wrong with me? What Jesus are you Christ. doing? <laughs> I would. Your man. I'm so sorry. I'm off my game. Today. Okay, man. I'm off my game <laughs> today, man. Are you in love with Tom Holland or something? Every time he's on screen, there's something <laughs> going on with your brain. I think you secretly have a man crush on him, man. That's where. Uh... But yeah, just do something like that, or do what you said, where just explain it a bit more, bro. Oh, I'm actually so sorry that I got that because I have no idea how I got that. <laughs> Who else did you uh, tell? Okay, just Ned and MJ from my class. Maybe Ned told his girlfriend Betty, but that's it. <laughs> you are so dumb. That is clean. What? Smart as a whip. Uh, I did actually believe it the first time I watched it as well. Sucker. That now was clean. Friends have to die. I don't know if that's me happy. I'm not Iron Man. You sure, man? You're not Iron Man. Y you sure you're as hell have his Iron villains now. <laughs> Satellites are picking up an EM pulse. Thought that was over. It's the biggest one yet. Where? London. Okay, man. Fuck it. I can't be bothered. I can't be bothered waiting to the end of this film. Nick Fury and that other gal of scrolls, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like we we know that from the end credits scene. So I'm confused. Can they act exactly like how they would actually act? Like exactly how Nick I'm, Fury. I'm gonna it? guess that like Nick Fury is like in their ear, like, "Hey, yo, say this." Would he be like that though? I, I think like he, they'd probably just console him for like the big decisions, but like anything else, they'd be like, "Okay, just do what you think I would do." Yeah, I guess. But at, at that point, it's like that's it's even dead. bigger reason because I was literally about to say, wouldn't Nick Fury do a background check on? Quinton Beck as soon as he met him and then you remember oh wait these guys are scrolls yeah but then if if he's if they actually are doing what your theory is that makes it even more criminal because then they would talk to Nick Fury the real one about how they've met a guy called Quinton Beck then he would check who that is oh my fuck oh my so that would make either it even way worse dead. so either, either way, way it's it... fucking terrible yeah. I have the kids oh no oh oh no no I'm alright uh, that's, 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 that's... <laughs> okay people no Avengers coming we're good to go bunch of drones copy that oh, brother God. Yeah, I don't think there's anywhere near as much as establishment as we need of these drones. Yeah. Like the, the lack of establishment was good, but now up to this point, I feel like it's this is where it just gets iffy really. <sighs> Because now it's just like, okay, we've established that we can do cool things. We haven't established it well, but we've established it, so now we can do whatever, pretty much. It, it is that, yeah. And for the average viewer... Uh, they could have they could have easily just, like, cut off, like, some scenes or added new scenes. Yeah. Let's save the world, people. Also, Quentin Beck. Don't feel like we've got enough development with him, to be honest. Yeah. The fact that the only development we got was when he was a hero, and we know that that was all fake, we should have got much more development with him now that he's a villain. Yeah. It, it kind of resets... 
his like development because it's like oh wait so that wasn't all real but now we're about to get the real you let's go let's destroy the world okay man. oh uh, oh you, you like that her huh? i feel like that's why they should have butted heads a bit more because then it would have been like there, there are still hints towards oh, yeah. him being a villain and we'd still get that like him like the actual him as character development kind of yeah that would be clean i wish we got like another scene with just peter and quinton talking after he found out because when we have that whole illusion scene after he realizes nick fury is not actually nick fury i can't remember what he says but he says something like i tried to stop you i thought we were close i tried to help you walk away now you're making me do this i feel like we should have got more like another scene for that there. another scene yeah like another scene for that and then something happens where he manages where like mysterio like gets away or something then that happens because yeah. it, it kind of happened a bit too quickly where it was like oh no he's the bad guy oh i'm gonna go get him and then mysterio's just like i gave you a chance it's like i don't really i don't really get that feeling of <laughs> i feel like this film should have been a friendly neighborhood spider-man film not a i'm a spider-man i'm going to save parts of the fucking world to be fair, I do feel like they needed to kind of do, like, a big final boss. That's only yeah. for, like, a good arc of him realising that he doesn't need to be exactly like Iron Man. Yeah, I, I guess that does work for this film. But I don't really feel like they're touching upon that as much in this film as well as they need to in order to create that arc and make it good. If, if, if anything, they're kind of reinforcing the fact that he needs to be more like Tony. Exactly. Which I think should be the complete opposite thing that they should be reinforcing. But what do we know, man? We're not writers or directors. <laughs> and so we haven't even got like him actually like saving anyone. I would have got it if there was like a massive montage where he was saving loads of people, and then he would just then we get that like feeling of he's tired. He wants to take a little break. Yeah, but, we could have had just like a mini like. But we didn't get the feeling of him like needing that break, did we? Really? It was more no. like, hey, yo, Tony just died. What are you doing? Even though it has been, though, eight been eight months, months, but it didn't feel like that. Because there was no passage of time in this fucking film. But I mean, yeah, even this screams fucking Tony Stark. Like, shut him out. Yeah. <laughs> this suit, though, I do actually really like. This is your favorite one. This is my favorite of the MCU Spider-Man suit. I, br I know I bring this up all the time, but realizing that I bring this up all the time, I think I have to actually mention this as a collective because I haven't really seen one film do this well. And that's the human realistic reaction side of things to when things like this happen. It all looks the same. Just people running away and screaming. Yeah. When have we really got like a like a little mini thing? Like, like how the Amazing Spider-Man 1 does that thing with the little kid and he's stuck in the car. <laughs> Hey buddy, it's okay! Yeah. Yeah, no, this is, this is very clean, man. Yeah. I don't want to hear it. Yeah, this is a, yeah, this is a very clean scene. Just things like that that make the thing make the world feel a lot more realistic, and like these are actual real people that are actually scared. Like I've seen it so many times that my brain has become numb to it. It's just like okay, people are running, people are scared. It's like I don't really care about the people. Like people are running, people are screaming. We both don't There's have no, to like, care. There's no emotional well. build up to it. Like as you said with the Amazing Spider-Man one thing, we get like that emotional build up. Like, no, I can't do it. I can't do it. Jack, climb now! I can't! Yes, you can! Then when yeah. he does it, it's more hype. It's like, yes, we knew you could do it, kid. Let's fucking go. Another reason is we don't really have to be scared for these people. Because we never see them get hurt. Yeah, we're only told about it, Civil War. Din, Din, this is the 23rd fucking film. <gasps> oh! <laughs> this is the 23rd <laughs> fucking film! <laughs> And we haven't seen <laughs> humans <laughs> feel scared. Uh, I, I can't stress that point enough. Like, I think that's the biggest thing out of all these films. The human side of things. They're just not good. Like, no, that's actually it. The human side of things, their reactions to these big things happening, it's actually just not good. Yeah. The, the only humans that aren't superhumans that they do well is the people related the to the superhumans. Yeah. yeah. Bro, that's why I like the bridge scene in Spider-Man 1 in the Tamar trilogy. I feel like that reaction, although I don't think there'd be as many people, I feel like that would be like somewhat realistic yeah oh, it's not real it's not real it's not real <laughs> see how he went through that there man see how he went through that illusion there it must be something to do with the brain at this point man it must be like <sighs> but even then how would that work hasn't been fully it's established like... man <sighs> Sorry to tell it to you, man, but it hasn't it's, been established. It's not been established at all, and it, it actually pisses me off now. 
Oh yes, oh yes, I can't wait for this part actually, I can't wait. Oh. No, no, nothing man, nothing yet. Oh, this is gonna be a clean point. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, I can't oh, wait. Oh, this is gonna put video, things man. in perspective right into your skull. All the viewers' screenings, man. They're gonna be like, oh shit, I didn't think about it like that. I can't wait, let's go, <laughs> let's go. How scared are you for like Spider-Man in this film? Uh, let's not talk about that. Okay. <laughs> This CGI though is so clean. Do you think we're going in too hard on these films? No. <laughs> no, we are not. <laughs> Honestly, sometimes I, I, I think we're not going hard enough. Oh! How does Cat do that? <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. We don't know either, man. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to look at the budget for this film. I don't think I do either, man. You think most of that went into the, the CG and not the, the story. writers? Yep. <laughs> The CGI is really clean as well. Like I have to stress this. It, it, it is, is very really clean. Good, yeah. It just doesn't redeem the story. And I don't know about you, but I would prefer a, a really good story with dead CGI than really good CGI with a dead story. Yeah. And in terms of this as well, if you switch this around and the story is as good as the CGI and the CGI is as good as the story, this would still be a banging film. This would get a better rating than it's going to get. Yeah. I feel like this is probably going to have the biggest difference in critic and average viewer. Definitely, man. You already know. That is clean. Now this is sick. Oh, that is so clean. Oh my god, this is so sick. Ooh. Also, you didn't mention the, the Peter tingle, which I was kind of expecting you to mention. I have, I, I have not mentioned it yet, no. I was kind of waiting for the scene. Also, oh. why why you did that? Don't you dare call it Peter tingle again. It's five cents. Sorry, man. Sorry, man. It's just that they didn't bring it up in Homecoming, so I thought it was a totally different thing, you know? It, maybe I actually don't know why the, why it was not in the other films. Oh yes, yes, this scene is very good. Come on, Peter Tingle. Well, I'll stop right there because now this is the point that I need to bring up, right? So, uh, Mysterio's trying to beat Spider-Man here, right? That's what he's trying to do, right? Yeah. He's trying why to beat doesn't he? Yeah. Why doesn't he come through or some shit? No, that's that's not my point, man. That's not my oh, point. No, no. What what my point is? Let's go back to the illusion point I had. He could create things. All he has to do here, then, then all he has to do here is create loads of Spider-Mans and just punch him down again. Oh my God. Ah. Uh... Ah. Uh, ding, ding. Uh, now, has that fully synced uh, into your head now? You could see uh, why that point was so crucial, uh, right? You could see why that I, point was so I, crucial. I, I actually forgot that this happens. I, I'm sorry, but uh, that is the biggest, biggest this, critique this, 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 I have of this film. I don't think we can give it a below average. No, this is. I, I think. I think five is an average film five, when it comes to the story. Yeah, five five point five for the CGI. Five, oh, five, you know, yeah, sure. Okay, five, <laughs> All he has to do here is literally make loads of Spider Mans again because he could do that before, so he can do that now. Make loads of Spider Mans, punch him down, boom. He can literally just walk out of there, go eat a sandwich, go to Tesco or whatever, come back, and he'll still be there getting punched by Spider Mans because apparently. Apparently that's how it works. Ah, Boom. That, 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 Boom! Destroyed uh... this film in 10 seconds, man. I do not want to hear it from anybody. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, this scene is very good. Just Doesn't, doesn't make sense. Just doesn't make sense at all. And that's why the illusion point I had earlier was so goddamn crucial. Just establish it a little bit more, man. Exactly. Maybe well, this is very cool, though. Yes. If yeah. at the end of No Way Home, I still think that Homecoming is the best of the MCU Spider-Man films. I am going to be livid. <laughs> cool. Edith, turn off the drones! So why did they have control he over Edith now? Wait, wait, wait. He transferred ownership. Does that, does that mean he still has... A, what? That's cool. Kind of reminds me of uh, the photo mode in Spider-Man yeah. PS4. Spider-Man's name is Peter Parker. What the... Uh, to be fair, that was very uh, shocking when I watched that for the first it time. It was. But it also kind of came out of nowhere. You gotta tell me. It was fine. Also, kind of feel like this is a, a cop out, a yeah. possible cop out for loads of things. Because if Spider Man dies in the future film or something and it's a scroll, it's like, uh. I feel like that. Wait, you think that's how they're gonna explain that? That's how they're gonna try and make it so that it's not 
Peter Parker. They're going to try to explain, oh, no, it was a scroll pretending to be Peter Parker. <laughs> if they like, do oh. that, that's criminal. No, like, like, that's the point of the scrolls, don't get me wrong. Like, oh, Definitely. so anyone could be a scroll. But it's also, like, uh, yeah. Well, what are we giving that then? We already said 5.5. Critically, average viewer, seven, maybe 7.5. 7. Yeah, 7.5.